After watching this video, you will get familiar with all the basic differentiation formulas and some rules. We will solve some questions and with that you will get a good understanding of differentiation. So let's begin. Hello Genesis, welcome to the second part of differentiation for beginners. If you are completely new to differentiation and have not seen the previous part, I will encourage you to go and see that one and watch this one after that, okay? So in the previous video, we learned about what differentiation really is and from where all these differentiation formulas come. So now let's get familiar with some of the most important and basic differentiation formulas. You need not to memorize them because as you solve questions, you will automatically memorize them. But first, it is really important for me to get you familiar with those formulas. So let us just state the formulas right away. So differentiation of x raised to the power n is n x raised to the power n minus 1. For example, differentiation of x raised to the power 5 is 5x. Five 5 minus 1 is 4 so differentiation of x raised to the power 5 is 5x raised to the power 4. Now differentiation of a constant is you say 0 because see a constant is not changing so its differentiation will simply be 0. Now differentiation of a constant times some function is constant multiplied by differentiation of that function. So for example differentiation of 3x cube so it is constant times the differentiation of x cube and differentiation of x cube is what 3x square so 3 times 3x square is 9x square okay now differentiation of sine x is cos x and the differentiation of cos x is minus sine x now differentiation of e raised to the power x is simply e raised to the power x this is the only function which does not change under differentiation so differentiation of e raised to the power x is e raised to the power x and differentiation of log x is 1 upon x all these formulas that you are seeing in here are derived from that fundamental theorem of differentiation so always keep that in mind that these are derived from that okay now here are some really important but somewhat difficult than those so differentiation of cosecan x is minus cosecan x cot x differentiation of secan x is secan x tan x differentiation of cot x is minus cosecan square x and differentiation of tan x is secan square x now here is a little tip, whenever there is a differentiation of a trigonometric function starting from the letter c, there is always a minus in the answer. For example, differentiation of cos x is minus sin x, differentiation of cosecan x is minus cosecan x cot x and so on. So do remember it, this will help you find out where to put minus and where to not put a minus. Okay. So now let us get familiar with some of the most important rules and simultaneously solve some questions. So differentiation of a function plus minus some other function is simply the differentiation of first function plus minus differentiation of second function. So let's take an example, try to do it yourself first. Okay, so differentiation of x raised to power 12 plus 10x is what? It is 12x raised to the power 11 plus differentiation of 10x is secant square x. So 12x raised to the power 11 plus secant square x. Now differentiation of two functions multiplied with each other is what? It is really simple. Try to memorize it like this. So first function differentiation of second function plus second function differentiation of first function. You can call first and second function any one of the two functions. It is just to like memorize this. Okay. So let us take an example now. Differentiation of sine x multiplied by e raised to the power x. Try to do it yourself first. Now let us call sine x the first function and e raised to the power x the second function. So first function differentiation of second function. It is sine x differentiation of e raised to the power x plus second function differentiation of first function so second function is e raised for x and differentiation of sin x is cos x so this is our answer we can take e raised for x common to get this answer okay okay now differentiation of two function divided by each other so it is really simple memorize it like this bottom square bottom as it is differentiation of top minus top differentiation of bottom remember here is a minus 
okay so a lot of people make mistake in here they put plus in here but here is always a minus now let us take an example differentiation of log x divided by sin x try to do it yourself first it is really simple so bottom square so sin x whole square bottom as it is differentiation of log x is 1 upon x minus log x differentiation of sin x is cos x so you can also rearrange this thing as for your question demands now let's learn a really important rule in differentiation known as the chain rule that means we differentiate functions like a chain so let us take an example differentiation of e raised to the power x cube okay so how will we do it first now you have to see the different type of functions in here okay so see one function in here is e raised to power x and second is x cube okay so first see it like it is e raised to power x first you differentiate that function then differentiate x cube okay so first differentiation of e raised to power x and in here the x whole thing is basically x cube like we are saying it e raised to power something okay so differentiation of e raised to power something is e raised to power something so e raised to power x cube is e raised to power x cube okay this is done now multiply it with the other functions differentiation for example differentiation of x cube is 3x square now in here there is also another function which is x but differentiation of x is dx by dx which is just one okay so the differentiation of x is always there but it is always one so we don't say it for example differentiation of sin x is cos x differentiation of x which is just one we never say it but there is always this chain rule in those formulas too here we also won't say it because differentiation of x is just one so this is how to use chain rule function by function differentiation okay so with all these rules examples and formulas you are good to go to solve most of the basic differentiation formulas as an exercise i will give you a question which covers most of the things which i taught you in this video so the question is find out the differentiation of cos x cube sin square x raised to the power 5 so if you have watched this video carefully you will be able to do this question really easily now remember there is sin square x so there is a x square kind of function first and then sin x so remember to use the chain rule really carefully in this question and try to do it yourself and if you do it right you will get this as your answer so i hope this video helped you thanks for watching this video and always remember that math is everything